642 back on sunrise and stop and take a look at this machine at work. It's called the Lucas CPR device. Now it's not new, but its value is really being recognized during the pandemic. Yeah, so Carlos, you were able to get a first hand look at this and how it's actually helping first responders stay safe while actually still saving lives. It's cool. Yeah. And I, and I did get this first uh, look at this here in Bargersville, talking to the Deputy Fire Chief uh, Mike Pruitt down here. And he told me, like you said, it's not a new device, but it is one that's being utilized more often because of social distancing practices. And as you're about to see, it really, really does chest compressions very well. This machine can help save lives while also social distancing. Being able to apply this machine and the quality CPR that it does provide allows us to take one person that would normally be doing the chest compressions and actually pull them away. So there's still care going on, but it's one less person that has to be right in the middle of that workspace, risking potential exposure. Of course, we wear our PPE, so we reduce that in the first place, but this provides that option. So show us how it works. We start with a back plate that provides a stable surface underneath the patient. And then we apply the device to the chest, right under the armpits, turn it on, and it's a simple one, two, three process to begin mechanical CPR. So bring the suction cup down so it sits just on the chest, make sure it's flush, and then you can start the device. So once the device starts, it begins performing mechanical chest compressions. So the suction cup actually pushes down and pulls up on the chest, on the thoracic cavity, and increases blood flow. For someone whose heart's not beating at all, or not beating correctly, this will allow them to con their heart to continue to circulate blood, even in a dire situation like that. It looks like it's really doing a number on the chest. I mean, you need it to be that pronounced to save someone's life. That normal depth for chest compressions is one and a half to two inches, and that's for an adult. So what we're looking for is at least that amount of force and recoil. When you purchased this two years ago, it wasn't specifically for COVID-19? No. What was it for? We were looking at our cardiac arrest survival rates and how we could improve that curve, how we could get more people to the hospital to be able to get them to the cath lab, to what treatments they may need. And this was a cost-effective way for us to be able to do that and increase the amount of apparatus we can keep in service for additional emergencies. Can this machine help with social distancing? Absolutely. So for us here, being a smaller department, one of the biggest advantages for this machine is that we don't have to include an additional apparatus. So that's four more people that we're not bringing onto a scene to risk exposure to. That allows us to limit the number of personnel that may have a COVID exposure on a scene. Let's show you uh, which fire departments have these Lucas devices by county. You can see Hamilton County by far has the most at their disposal. Each of these machines cost around $16,000. The Lawrence Fire Department recently was able to buy three new Lucas CPR devices for just under $40,000 because they traded in their older equipment, according to a Lucas rep that I spoke to. But guys, as you can see, this is a device that can be very effective when assisting paramedics in social distancing. Ben, Alyssa. Yeah, it's just incredible to see Carlos and thank God they thought to use this again to help keep everybody safe involved in this It's a great story and thanks so much for sharing and I'm glad the Bargersville Fire Department let you come in there and get an up close look at it is fascinating to see. Uh, <laughs> thanks again and hey, let